now we're going to take a look at the inside of the panel itself of the controller, of the multi-tower switching kit controller. So basically you can see here, for safety reasons, we have a uh, cover at the front to make sure that, you just, that nobody can just stick their fingers in when you open the main door. Uh, you always want to make sure that your power is off and you have a lockout on the main power coming in to make sure that if you're working on this, wiring it, that you're safe and that nothing happens. So basically we'll make sure there's no light, we know our power is off, and again, you wanna make sure that the breaker that's bringing this power in, is a, it has a lockout tag on it, and it's locked out. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open this up. It just swings open. And here you can see the basic components of the panel. Um, this block right here is where you're going to, to bring in your wires. These are the wires from the valves. These are represented here. So you notice we have couple we usually use at Lacos we use red blue and white those uh, can be you know used with any colors that you want um, it's always best to at least use three different colors though so your red and your blue here are your directly to your valves as far as your power in uh, to power open power closed and then your white wires are your neutrals so this as you can see here this is coming in and tying into these uh, wires very basic, These are. this is in the INO manual startup, shows several pictures of these for reference so that you can see how to wire these. When wiring the control, when the wiring from the controller to the valve itself, it's very simple. This would be removed, the wires would be brought in through here and to this connection here, which is labeled one, two, three. This is in your INO manual that shows how this should be wired up from the controller. Again, all the wiring needs to be provided by others uh, the conduit, that type of stuff. The other thing too to keep an eye on here, just when you get your unit or it's installed, make sure everything is, look, look it over, make sure the wires are all good, nothing's loose. The other key thing here is there's a breaker over here, you wanna make sure that that breaker is turned on. Um, if that's not on, your display will probably not come on. So just make sure that that, it should be in the on position when you get it, but just make sure that it's on and then that way you know, you know what your, what your unit's got power. So again, you would just close that. Once everything's wired, close it up. Basically, take your lockouts off your main disconnects and then power the unit up. And again, if the program is in there and everything is good, you'll see it in the display. The display will come up. It'll ask you to program it. If you get something that there is no display in, please contact Lakos. The program may have been scrubbed and we may need to send you a new program to input into the unit.